Okay, today I'd like to continue our series of one hop. The virtual machine would be Evil Box One. I will put the link into the description section below so that you can download. Before we begin today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your help and support. So let's get started. To save time, I have already imported the virtual machine into the virtual box. Excuse me, and now I'd like to enter into the kernel Linux. As you can see, I have already identified the IP address of the virtual machine as two hundred and fifty-four, and also I did the nmap scanning. I did the scene scan, the virtual scan. Default script scan, and also did the comprehensive scan by specifying the option of dash p dash. So from the nmap scanning results, as you can see over here, the two open port. The first one is twenty two, which runs SSH, and also the version information. Of course, as we know, this version doesn't have any vulnerability at all. So I think the what we are going to do next. Is to do some basic emulation for the AT port. So now let's fire up our browser, and、uh, specify the sorry the IP address of the target or the virtual machine. So this is just a very standard Apache two default page. And also, as we walk through the page, the content of this page, we cannot find anything special. And also, if you can check the source code of this page, nothing interesting for us. So I think we need to do some directory emulation. And I'd like to use the, for example, I like use the nikto. It's okay. And、uh, specify the IP address. So maybe I need to make the terminal window larger. So I think this might be interesting.、Uh, Nikto has already identified one directory which is secret. So I we can、uh, can visit or access this directory. Oh, sorry, secret. But、uh, nothing returned from this directory. And also we can check the source code. Also nothing, empty, blank. So I also I can tell you when I did the direct directory emulation with like GoBuster, we still cannot get anything interesting. I mean the directory or the file. So maybe the this directory and also we can use the GoBuster. To to do some, you know, the directory.、Uh, although nothing returned from this directory, but uh, uh, but uh, maybe there's some subdirectories under this directory. So we can use the go buster, go buster. Oh, sorry, because I have already installed the newest、uh, kernel Linux. So the go buster is not installed by default. We can use the sudo. apt install go buster. Very easy to install. So after the installation, and now we can begin our directory emulation for the directory of secret. So now we can use the go buster and、uh, specify the URL as. Secret, and specify the word list. The dear buster, I always use this、uh, word word list as the first one, and、uh, directory, and specify the PHP, HTML. Yeah. So we'll try to find out the. The file names with these extensions. 
So now let's hit enter. Yeah, we have already got a very, I think, a very uh, suspicious, suspicious uh, file, which is evil. And we, I think we can interrupt this process of directory immersion. Now we can head over back to our browser and uh, append the name of the evil. But it still, uh, it still doesn't give uh, give us any information, right? So maybe there's some parameter uh, behind uh, this uh, this file or this URL. So we can use the fuzzy method to emulate the parameter names. And we can, we just copy. And uh, let's specify the word list. I, I like to use the the same word list. Okay. Uh, but uh, directory evil. Oh, sorry. I forgot. Forget. I forgot to specify the the location of the fuzz, and also maybe we can use a single quote. I think now it's it's configured properly. Okay, a lot of outputs, so we need to fit out the the useless result by specify the HW and the zero. So now the. This father two, W fuzz two, will try to emulate the exact parameter. I think we don't need to wait uh, so long. Okay, we ha have already got the parameter name, which is command. So now we can go back to our browser. Com command. Okay, so now we have already retrieved the content of a password file. It means that the virtual machine exist or has the local file inclusion vulnerability. And also we have already identified the user name, this one. So if, uh, you know, if we, if we encounter the local file, local file inclusion vulnerability, the next step, always, always the next step is to find out whether this user name has SSH private key. Okay, and we can copy the user name and we can pass in here home and uh, here yeah we successfully got the the private key uh, content so we can use the terminal or command to 
redirect to file. Okay, no problem. Yeah, and now we need to, to change mode. And now we can log in to the virtual machine and uh, specify the private key file. And also the, the username is this one. The IP address, yes. Uh, but uh, uh, we need to input pass a phrase for the key. So we need to firstly crack the password for the this file. We can use the SSH to John ID and to the hash, and then we can use the John Reaper. And I like to use the word list of lock you and hash. But it failed. I can check whether we have ready. No. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening here. So I need to fix this issue. Okay, I think I have already uh, got the reason why I encountered this problem. Because the word list is, is compressed. So I need to uh, run this command again. Lock you and hash. Just I mentioned this is the new uh, Kali Linux. So uh, by default, the lock queue is in, is compressed. We need to decompress first, and then we can use this word list. Sorry about uh, waiting your time. And now I think now it's good to go. Yeah. Uh, immediately we. Uh, retrieve the password for the private key file and now we can sh to the target again and uh, the password phrase is unicorn yeah now we have successfully logging to the to the to the target and now and we can do some very basic emulation for example, we can go to the home directory and we got the user flag. And also, uh, we can upload the Olympia's uh, shell script to this uh, virtual machine and uh, execute this shell script and can find out there is misconfiguration about the file of the password. Um, but to, to, to save time, I just show you the result of the, I mean, the privilege of this file. We can, as you can see, we can, uh, any user can write or modify this uh, content of this file. So it means that we can add our own users and this user uh, may have the privilege, the root privilege, right? So now we can, uh, use the, uh, I think we can go to our working directory and use the uh, JSON. Okay, now we got the, this one. And uh, now we can copy. Maybe we need to use, we, we, we can check. If we go back to the, okay, we can copy this line of the root user. And we can change the username to the, like uh, anyone, the JSON. And also we need to generate the password for our user. 
and the command I'd like to use the open SSL and we can sudo open SL password okay we maybe we can specify the this one 500 SSH, SSH, uh, 512 so we can sudo if, because default will be the one will be the md5 based encryption and we can specify and sort json and the, the password very simple password now we have already generated the encrypted or hash for our password and we can replace the x by our password or encrypted password and now we can append our content to the password file now we can su switch our shell to the root or not a root json because we didn't get the password for the root we just uh, set the password for our own user username json and uh, one two three four five six okay now we can go to the root directory okay we got the root flag so that's all i'd like to demonstrate in this video sorry about the interruption because just mentioned uh, during my recording this is the new uh Kali linux uh, which released this year so i i didn't prepare all the word list or tools like gobuster so anyway uh if you don't mind please subscribe subscribe to my channel bye see see you in the next one